Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with We Deleted You. Yeah, we watched this, we watched a little part of this when we did that, um, Ethelid mod. So we're gonna, we, we gotta continue this. We're at Kyle's Trilogy Part 2. We saw some crazy stuff last time. Of course, I'll put a link in the description to that video so y'all can check out what exactly we're dealing with here. I don't think I want to see what happens. Let's do this. The right. year is 2013. 2013. I just turned 14, and I'm enjoying playing the Wii U that I got for my birthday. Okay, so this is, but is this later movie, than that time? I think of that me. That me that traumatized my childhood all yeah. those years ago. Yeah, this was, I think it was like 2010 or 11 last time. I think. No, I don't think this is over though. Oh. He's, he's traumatized now. He's so traumatized. Yeah, we, you said that already. One day while in bed watching Netflix on my Wii U, I remembered that message on the TV screen back in December 2006. Oh, it was 2006. <laughs> Let me just stop. I said 2011 or 12. It was actually 2006 when that stuff happened. So why did, hold on, so why did Etelid wait all those years to come back? Because obviously he's going to come back. Why is he waiting all these years to get his revenge or to torture Kyle? Like, why are you waiting? Oh, because I think he threw he threw the Wii out. But then again, he made this TV screen say, I'm pretty sure he said, this is not over. So, obviously, if you can do that, you can still torture him on the screen if you want to. But, just whatever. We're just going to let the story play out how it plays out. The message was, this is not over. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's been seven years and nothing's happened. I wouldn't be so nonchalant, though. I asked myself a question that I was surprised I didn't ask myself sooner. Uh-oh. Is Edelard sentient? No. He can't be. He's just some stupid AI. Alright. But Calling him stupid is one is your last mistake. To do what has done. I turned my head to face my closet, with the old weed still in there. I never touched it again after what happened all those years ago. So just sort of left it there. Should have threw it I away. I to know if Edelard was some virus that somehow gone to the Wii. I do have a bit of technical knowledge, and I thought I could put the Wii's SD card into my laptop to access the system files. That's probably what I he's in. I the closet and carefully picked up the Wii. I took out the SD card and brought out my laptop. This is probably not a good I idea. I plugged in my USB SD card reader and then put my SD card into it. Oh boy. Here it goes. I whispered as I took my If you're so apprehensive about it, you probably shouldn't be doing this. I opened the file explorer and clicked on the SD card and gained access to the Wii. Look at his laptop. Files. Look what, the, look what he has up. Like game data, system memory, and lots more. This folder does not contain... And one result came up. He's still there. He's still there then. Throw it away. I really Throw it away. That I'd be able to find something related to Edelet so quickly. That's him. Throw it away. I'm kind of hesitant to click on it at first. However, Why are you clicking on it? <sighs> okay, no, no, no. This has to be addressed. I cannot let this slide. You see that it literally says Edelid Me Channel. That's where you found him last time. So why would you even think about clicking on that if you know that has something to do with him? <clears throat> I'm telling you, these people have no common sense here. None! Because you... I clicked on the file, and the screen went black. Yeah. You're done. Black for about 10 seconds. You're done. And then I was greeted to a simulated Wii menu. Yeah. You it was really messed up there. Why did you not think this would happen? All the music was low quality. I'd occasionally hear loud screeching noises and the icons on the Wii menu. So turn it off. Take it off. Am I supposed to be hearing something? Oh, they got that music? 
hand icon though. Oh. Which I controlled using my mouse. Oh. It was just Edelette's face. It was just. I just stared at the screen for a while. Bro. Why life, did you do this? I also want to find out the mystery. You, you obviously, I don't have no sympathy for you. So I continue. Why? I click on the me channel and press start. You want things to happen to you. It's just a black screen with all the icons on the side, but nothing else. Edelette then appeared on screen. Like I thought. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, you dummy, yeah. you came back. Why would you do that? I did. I said. I always thought that you'd eventually come back. He was waiting for this. What? Hmm? That's a trap. That's a trap. Uh-uh. Oh, uh, Don't, don't try. I need to show you something. No. Don't. I don't I trust that. Replied. I don't trust that. Okay. Bruh. Yeah, he's going. He's going for it. Why? I picked up Edelette and dragged him to the delete icon. I was given the choice to delete Edelette. And I breathed heavily. Why is he doing I chose this? To delete him. You already I was know what happens. Back to my desktop. I was confused, but then I noticed something was added to my desktop. <sighs> A file named deleted. Oh my gosh. No, I can't, I can't take I was this nervous. breath. I didn't want to click it. I'm, but if I'm I was like, going to find this me's origin, I had to continue. I'm shaking. I clicked the file, and a video opened. Yep. It was static for a while, but then it cut to a hallway with hospital beds. Oh, one this is the hallway Each from the mod. had a me laying down on it, hooked up to life support machines. Okay. And you can clearly hear the beeping sounds of the machines. Now we know where that came <laughs> from. The most disturbing was <coughs> you can hear the moans and cries of the me's laying on the beds. Oh. The camera moved through the hallway slowly, and it stopped and turned to one of the beds. That's Edelaide. Hail me was laying down on it. That's Edelaide, you should know that. Then after a while, the me flatlined. The strange thing is, is that the me's in this video can make different expressions, like being sad or angry. Right. There were also me's who were making expressions that weren't even possible for me to make. I saw some that were full-blown crying. The mean. screen then cut to static for a while. A long while, actually. Static was on screen for about a minute. And then something else happens. Then the screen then cut to Edelard. Yep. Laying in one of the beds. You already knew it. Life support machines hooked up all over him. I was shocked when I saw this. Because Edelard wasn't making his normal creepy expression. Instead he was making a very sad expression. Although his eyes and mouth remained the same size as before. Okay, that's, but then that's just him. The camera and then spoke out. Okay. Saying what? So he spoke out. Saying what? I just hear music. That's not speaking out shit. Oh, there we go. Do you now see why they want you to read it? I tried to warn you. Whenever a me gets deleted, they get sent here. So how do you come back then? Because the only creators don't hear them. These life support machines are only here to keep us alive for the remaining time we have. And when they get taken off, they die. So how did he keep coming back then? Okay, that's why. Okay, but I just really answer my question. Oh boy. After Edelard was done speaking, delete me. He ripped off the tubes and wires off him that were connecting him to the life support machines. And got out of his bed. This makes me so. And then he disappeared. And back into the me channel. The video file. file was then automatically closed. Yep. And I was taken back to my desktop. This makes me so scared to delete me's and actually. Frozen, I've done. I think I've least. done it before. My brain was trying to comprehend what just happened. It's not that hard to what understand was what happened. This hallway, and what was Edela trying to teach me? He just told you but all of that in a single sentence. Piece together what was going on in this video. It took me a while. How did it take you a while? You see, a me being deleted is basically the equivalent of being diagnosed with a terminal cancer or incurable sickness. Oh, that's even worse than what so, I thought, then. They are sent to the hallway where they are hooked up to the life support machines to live out the remaining time they have left. Oh, shoot. And at the end, they get taken off of life support and they die. 
It is a painful death. That ain't real, right? But Edeled is the only me in existence who knows how to recover from that ain't real, right? and get back like, to the new channel. That really, that's not really what happens, right? But he right? doesn't know how to stop the pain. That's what he was trying to teach me. He wasn't trying to be scary, but instead trying to teach me a lesson. Yeah, Just I think we knew that already. Aggression is the only way he knows how to do I knew, it. I've been through that from the start. I don't yeah. know how you didn't understand. I never found out Edeled's origins. I never knew how he was made or what his motives were. Well, at some point, probably. But I think it's best that I never do. No, I, I still want to. Just don't delete him. That's the point he's trying to teach you. Don't delete him. I want to know his origin. Where do you come from? Oh, here we go. A freaking ad. And it led oranges. Okay, here we go. We're about to find out where he came from. This music, though. I used to so work sad, for though. Nintendo of America while the Wii was being created. Oh, this is somebody different. It was actually kind of yeah, a good job. Yeah, because this is the origin of uh, Edwin. But of course, it's somebody one different. There was guy who worked there that nobody really knew. We didn't know what he was like or what he did on his spare time. All he had were just rumors. Rumors? His name was that, Henry. That ain't good. And there were rumors about him being spread around the office. Wait. About what he did. Henry, I remember that name from the mod. Hired in the first place. Don't tell All of me. which are most likely not true. Okay. To me, no, I'm, I'm some now. other guy who just wasn't really known by anyone. I mean, that's not but particularly a bad thing, though. But during the Wii's production, he started to act strange. He would show up to work late. He glared at some of the employees. He would hide in the bathroom. Okay, what's his problem? What's his problem, though? I almost felt bad for him. But one Tuesday afternoon, my co-worker, Mike, walked up to me on my break. Hi, what's good, hey, Mike? Jonathan, what do you think Henry's doing over there? I've known Mike ever since I started working at Nintendo. I would consider him to be one of my best friends. All right, that's cool. Bowling, grab a bite to eat. And sometimes even play a round of golf. Okay, that's that's a friend. Anyway, I looked over at Henry and he was just pacing, and I could clearly see him mumbling to himself. Uh oh. No. Looks like he's talking to himself. I replied. Yeah, but then seems like he's insane. Mike said jokingly as he sipped his cold. All right, don't don't joke like that. This ain't the time. And they gotta put that music in here, bro. Nah. Henry Not continued to pace around talking to himself for about a minute until he left the office. Me and Mike followed the safe distance away. We saw him grab a weed, what? already boxed and ready to ship to retailers. Okay. And he went into one of the back offices. What is he doing? He was sure to look around and make sure nobody was watching and proceeded to enter the room. This man is shutting the door behind him. What are you so, doing? Uh, Want to check out what he's doing? No. Maybe later. Decided Maybe later. We might have a chance later. I replied as Mike and I walked away. Mm. It has been a good ten minutes since our break period ended, and I was working. I had a clear view of the office. And you never saw him come out. And he still hasn't come out. Yep. I that should concern you. But eventually decided to turn back to my computer mm. and you just work don't think it. nothing of it. He took a Wii in there. And the loud scream catches the attention of everybody in the office. I whipped my head to face the door to the room that Henry was in. And all I saw was one of my co-workers standing there. Uh-oh. They see what he's doing. Everyone got up, left their cubicles, and ran to the room. And when I managed to get a good look into the room, what? I was fainted. Henry was laying on the floor, dead. His body was dark. I did not even unrecognizable, as if he were electrocuted. That the result electrocuted. was an office-wide panic. People were screaming, calling the police. Some even vomited right there on the scene. Why didn't y'all do that when y'all first saw him? But two days later, everybody who was present when we saw Henry's body were called down to the presentation. Oh boy. I was still shaken from the whole thing, and didn't really want to think about it anymore, but I just went anyway. You had to, didn't you? When we got there, 
My boss was standing at the front of the presentation room while we got all settled. Hello, everyone, my boss said. <laughs> Why sure that you boss written on it where it's I supposed to be? Ago, and I'm just as shaken as all of you. Are you? However, you don't sound like it. However, security camera footage, and I thought that it would be important for you all to see it. Of course! Please note what? that some of this footage is disturbing. Oh boy, what is he doing? What, what, is, what is Henry doing? Projector and brought up the footage. And press play. Alright, look, we gotta see what happens. The video began with Henry entering the room with the Wii and sat down at the desk. He hooked the Wii up and set it up. Alright, it pre seemed pretty it was normal. normal for the most part, other than the fact that he had a bottle of beer and was drinking it throughout the process. Oh of boy. Up the Wii. Why? Why are you drinking When Henry got the Wii fully set up, the first thing he did was go to the Me channel. And when it opened, he pressed the button to make a new Me. The Mii's gender was man, Wait. and he started it from scratch. So he... He made the Mii bald, with huge eyes and a huge Why mouth did he ma nose. So Henry made Ethelene. Okay, that right there is the weirdest me I've ever seen in my entire life. Why would... One employee shouted. We all shushed him and continued watching. Yeah, sit your ass down. And then Henry got to naming the Mii. And then he named it Ethelene. Why did he name Ethelene that, though? Pause the video! Another employee shouted. <laughs> My boss paused the video as the employee took a couple seconds to analyze this new's name. That's delete spelled backwards. Yeah, you know. moron. And before we knew it, everybody in the room was in a heated debate on whether Henry knew what he was naming this me, or if it was just a coincidence because he was drunk. Yeah, I doubt that it was, it was a coincidence. My boss could have stopped it. Everybody, shut the hell up! <laughs> My boss yelled. No way you said that to your employees. Play button again. And we continued to watch in silence. Henry saved the me and put it into the me closet. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's how Henry we saw him the first time. Henry stared at the screen for a bit and said, huh, "I always wanted to be a me." He said, "But that's not you. You're not bald." Immediately after bruh. he said that, my boss paused the video. Why? Why would you pause it at that time? We need to see more. We are now about to enter the part of the footage. Okay. Why did you? St oh, I guess he's trying to warn us. Alright. Don't don't nobody leave. You need to see this. Many employees left because and oh, uh, they left. I counted, and there were only six people left. Wow. Only y'all want to see what really happened. Four other co-workers. So, uh, staying? I asked Mike. Obviously, if he's still sitting. Yeah. See what yeah, he shouldn't everybody want to know? In the footage, Henry noticed that the monitor screen started to flick. Oh boy. He looked down at the plug for the Wii, and it was about halfway into the socket. Well, that's he why. down to push it back in all the way, and when he did, he got electrocuted and dropped dead. That's... I looked so... behind me, and all the four co-workers in the room winced as Henry got electrocuted in the footage. So... I didn't even know. Mike just sat there and so the fact that he tried to plug it back in and he just got electrocuted. Why though? Why did he get that? I looked back at the footage and got a good look at Henry. His body would sometimes jerk and flinch due to the electricity. But about six seconds later, the monitor in which Henry made that neon strangely went static. What the hell? Why though? Back. That was the only thing I could think of at that point in time. But then and then the, that dude popped. This freaking dude popped up. I always wanted to be a man. That's what Henry said. But what? Have you wanted to be a man? Who was he talking to? After that last but image, why? Where did he get that voice from? Okay. Everybody was silent. Nobody said a word. I probably wouldn't I, either. I'm, I'm very sorry you all had to see that. My boss stuttered as he turned off the projector. Wait, 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 wait! No, this doesn't make any sense. Because, yeah, he got electrocuted, but yeah, he made the me, but also. If they're trying to imply that 
Henry is Etelid, like his spirit went into that me. How did he get that voice? Because that's, that wasn't what Henry's voice sounded like. So where did he get that voice from? That shit don't make no sense to me. You may all leave now. You continue as you got up from the seats and left. Yeah, it, the work won't ever be the same again after that. After we went back to work after seeing Henry's body two days ago, I looked back and noticed one of my crew workers, Johnny, what? taking the Wii. Why are you taking the Wii? The after you've seen what just happened. Out of the room. He probably wasn't the I ones in there. He was just going to format the Wii system memory. But then rumors started going around the office that Johnny just put everything back in the box, sealed it up, and put it with the others. Why? Out formatting the Wii. Are you serious? What is wrong with you? The Wii has already been sent out to retailers. I should have known that's what Johnny did. Johnny had a reputation around the office for doing some stupid things. Yeah. I can see. This would leave whoever was unlucky enough to buy the Wii to find out about Edelette. Oh my gosh. And now, I have no idea what Edelette could do, but I knew that wouldn't be good. Well, we know and what Edelette no could do I now. Could the Wii, but I still couldn't accept the fact that whoever bought it would soon find out that it was used by a man who died while using it. Yeah. Or at least find Edelette in the Me channel. So about two weeks later, I resigned. While me and Mike Listen, still remain forget. friends, there will always be that day that in the middle of a conversation, one of us will bring up Henry, and we would sit there in silence. Oh. And I really, really hope that whoever buys that weed doesn't experience anything that Edelaide might do. And if they do, then I pray that it doesn't make a lasting effect on them. Well, like I said... Henry was a man no. that nobody really ever knew. Nobody spoke a word to him and never really acknowledged his existence. Was he a loner or did he have a mental disorder? Nobody knew. That's hard but to tell. All we could do was speculate. Remember, all we had were rumors. Yeah, that's not good to just have rumors. Well, now we know where Hen now we know that in the mod when they said I should have known you've been here, he said Henry he said Edeled, oh my gosh, where he said Edeled, or should I say Henry, that's what that means, because technically that was his me, so yeah, that, we get that, and we now know where he came from, but now we need the next point, now we need the next part of, um, yeah, what's he gonna do to, um, my boy Kyle here, after years of dealing with him before, Sam's story, alright, who, oh, Sam, it's that girl with Kyle, that one in the mod, well, we got to see who Sam is, we, we gotta see who Sam is. I don't want to end it yet, at least until we find out who she is, because we both right. we saw both First of them in the off, mod. My name is Samantha, but I'm usually referred to as Sam. I'm gonna call you Samantha. I don't care. I'm not really into what other girls are into. While most girls are into stuff like shopping, clothes, makeup, and gossip. Yeah, I'm pretty more much. I'm into skateboarding, technology, movies. So you're a tomboy. Most of all, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot. I have game consoles like the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. That's what's up. But one game console has always fascinated me. Let me guess, it's the Wii. The Nintendo Wii. Oh, how did I know? I love the idea of motion-based gaming. Sure, most is pretty dope, controls though. today are usually considered as gimmicky, but I don't care what people think. I wanted a Wii. Sadly... The Wii is hard to come by since its discontinuation in 2013. True. And with it now being 2016, the only places where you can find them are places like GG and eBay. For a while, I thought I would never get a Wii until I finally found one. Found one? My mother absolutely loves thrift stores and would usually drag me along. Nope, with nope, because I already, I already see what's going on here. She said to her mother, found one and it's at a thrift shop so that might mean my boy Kyle took that to a thrift shop and sold it to them he, he gave it to them that's what I'm thinking is about to happen right now I hate them all the stuff there are so gross and weird until one day my mother took me to a thrift store and then I went to the electronics section mm -hmm. and there it was my eyes that busted we box caught my eye. The instant I saw look, I <laughs> look at her eyes and I asked if we could buy it. And since it was a thrift store, 
the it prices would be cheap. there are way lower than they would be in actual stores. That's right. She said yes, as this Wii was only $20. When you we can got see why home, it's only $20. I immediately set the Wii up in my bedroom. Once I was done, I turned it on and my TV. Oh boy. Usually, video game consoles would have a setup process. But this you one was know, already set up. You put in the time and date, mm -hmm. the country you live in, that kind of stuff. But you have to remember, this is a thrift shop. So that means you got it from someone else. So, so, so you should already know that thrift shops are someone else's things that they've had before. It's not new. It's used. She should know that because she said she hates them. So you, you should know this already. But for some reason, this Wii I got didn't have that. But honestly, I didn't care. Yeah, I bet. The game that came with the Wii was Wii Sports. So I decided to play that. But then I forgot something. I had to make my own music. Yeah, I bet you did forget I that. I could use the guest players, but I just didn't want to. I'm, I, so yeah. I went to the Me channel so I can make a Mii. <sighs> what are we going to see? When I got to the Me channel, I found something odd. Mm, it's not that odd. I saw a Mii already there. With its back and there goes Etolid. It was cowering while repeating the words. Please don't delete me. Please don't delete yep. me. He's already he thinking somebody will delete him. Moment. After what happened with Kyle. The me turned around and looked at me. Look at him. He's trying not to be creepy. The me looks kind of weird. He was bald. And his eyes were huge. He had a small nose and a big smiling mouth. Don't judge him though. Not this music. I clicked on the me with the Wii remote. And his name read Etoed. Right. What did that name mean? I couldn't figure She'll it out. get it at some point. And as he stood there, he spoke again. Please, don't delete me. I always had a belief that AI had feelings, that they had souls. Oh, she's one of those girls. So Alright, that's I that's cool. With, I'm not going to delete you. But how did you know you could talk and to him through the screen? Then changed from a creepy smile to a rather confused look. He probably didn't think he could she could hear him. What? You're not going to delete me? Oh, he knew he, she was going to hear me. Because everyone deletes me. No. Why don't you want to be deleted? I questioned. Uh oh. Edelin started to explain that this Wii was previously owned by a kid named Kyle. Yep. He said that when a Wii is deleted, they are sent to a place that he refuses to speak of. I tried to get it out of him. No. You don't want to know that. <laughs> you don't want to know that. I'm guessing it's pretty bad. It's very bad. I then decided to play Wii Sports without making my own move. I just decided to play as I Okay. Give him some Wii love. Wii Sports had a total of five sports included with it. Give him some love. Tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. I really liked boxing, so I played oh, she that. She's boxing. She's going to beat some Edelin people up. Was my me, and the game started. Look at his face. In boxing, I obviously played as Edelette. And the me that I was versing was named Ryan. Ryan. I looked at Ryan's skill level, and he was at level 124. Dang! Now, that may sound tough, but from what I've heard, level 124 makes Ryan the worst CPU player in boxing. What? So, this should that be high, me. and he's worse? The match started, and I threw a punch with my Wii remote. And with that single hit, Ryan fell to the ground. You weak bitch! I a I Unless Edelet is a way higher level than that. I ended up winning that match easily. I played a lot more matches after that. Maybe Edelet is a lot tougher than Edelette. you think. And it wasn't until 9:30 that it was time for me to go to bed. Damn, she played that thing all the way till 9:30. And I had school the next day. Wow. So I turned off the Wii and went to bed. Okay, you gave him some love. He shouldn't be mad at you. I actually like that. She did not delete him. She didn't judge him. I'm not a fan of school. Not because of homework or learning. Are we on? Oh, this is still part one. I don't like school because there's always people bullying me. Oh, Everyone she gets bullied. Knows that I believe that AI has feelings. And they always harass me. Is she gonna meet Kyle because? There's this one group of bullies, with the leader being called William, but William. he goes by Will. Same Bill shit. is a grade A jerk. He doesn't just bully me. 
But he bullies okay. all the kids who like, are either unpopular. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get different. you. Like the kids who have learning disabilities. Oh, that's anyway, even worse. He and his little group of goons like to refer to me as Sam the Psychopath. What? Only due to my belief that AI have feelings. Oh, come on. See, this is why when I don't tell people stuff. Room, we sat down and waited for our teacher to arrive. The teacher's name was Mr. Brenner. He is Mr. a very laid-back teacher, and every Monday, he asked us how our weekend was. All right, class. How was your weekend? Nice voice. Silence, nice voice, like partner. While he waited for someone to share their experiences over the weekend, she's gonna, I she's gonna say, it. I knew it. Sam, Mr. Brenner called. Brenner. I just sat there for a second. I didn't hear I the first time. How to explain my Why is it? I just noticed. Why does drawing look like um, that? I it looks spoke weird. To a me on my Nintendo Wii yesterday. Why would she I say said, that? That's gonna make you sound know crazy. I my experiences with Edeled. You, you could have just said I played the Wii good. over the weekend. You didn't have After to go into I that did, detail. My class started laughing yeah. while I embarrassingly sat Expect it. After Not that it's wrong stopped, that you did that, but we carried on it's expected morning. that they would laugh. Next period, I was walking to my next class when Will and his friends, Cooper and Dan, stopped me. Oh, here we go. Here's hey, the bullying. Sam the psychopath. Will yelled, are you missing your little me friend? He continued. Let him play the game. You know what? Let Ethelid beat Shut him up, the fuck up. I quietly said as I tried he, to he's past. pissing me off already. What? He questioned. I thought he was choking what did her. What you say to me? He continued as he gripped my shoulder and spun me to face him. Does he not know that you're not <laughs> supposed to put your hands on a woman? That. See? Will threatened quietly. He let go of my shoulder and I walked away. This dude. Yeah! Run! Run, you little me friend! He yelled as I To me, that doesn't sound away. that insulting, but that's... I got to my class and everything that's just me. Smoothly. Because I can take stuff like that. We were in history and... We were working on an assignment about World War One, and as I was working, I could this hear. This is a talk. long part for her story. I looked like... up and saw another group of bullies talking about me. Of course. This group consisted of three girls: Ellie, Jane, and Faith. Hi, your name Faith, Faith but you're a bully. Each other in classes, and would gossip and talk about other people. Yeah, you can't have the name Faith and talk on about other people day, and gossip. Right That's right not what you do. And I could overhear their conversation. You know Sam, right? Ellie asked Jane. Yeah, she's so weird, Jane replied. Like, I tried to ignore her. I'm sitting like, right behind you, and you're going to talk crap about me. She's been talking about? Well, maybe she has some mental condition and she's hallucinating. Oh, here we go. That's what they get to. What are you guys talking about me for? Yeah, I that's, asked. that's not even fair. Yo, were we talking about you? But no. Ellie Bruh, I can hear you. Of course you talk about me. They think that I'm some stupid idiot and some weird kid with a mental condition. Hey, bruh. And they think that I'm gullible enough to keep working, thinking that I was mistaken. Ellie, I know what I hear, and I know what I see. Not even that. Why, why do you care? Why do they care whether I actually they talk to you or not? Sam, Ellie stated, and I leaned in further. Stop talking about me. I'm gonna headbutt you. Demanded. Fine, just go back to working. I was until you interrupted with your freaking gossiping. I overheard them a bit more and I was surprised to hear that they were now just talking about their pathetic TV shows. And then they started talking about shopping and going to the mall. Good, talk about your lame I shit. Rise in my throat. Get a life, I thought. The day went by normally after that. Other than some kids giving me some weird looks. It was fine. I suspected, I like I said. Mainly because I live so close to my school, and that my mom is always at work on the weekdays. She usually gets back from work, usually around an hour after I get home. Anyway, today was no different, but Will does take the same route as me to get to his home. Oh boy. Which is a bit Leave me alone, Will. Sometimes I look back and see him walking a safe distance behind. I didn't really care though, because he doesn't do too much when his friends aren't with him. Oh, so he's, Eventually, he's just I playing got the part. and I locked the door behind me. I went to my room and I decided to talk to Adelaide. I turned on my TV and Wii, and I sat on my bed while I held the Wii remote in my hand. Okay, let's say what's up to Adelaide. Why are you playing that sad music? As the Wii menu glowed onto my face, I pointed the Wii remote to the Me channel, There's something wrong, ain't it? and I pressed the A button. 
I pressed start. When the meat channel opened, I saw Edelad. Okay, no, he's still there. Hi, Edelad. I said softly. She's actually nice. Sam, I need you to turn off the weed. Huh? Edelad spoke in How did you know her name? Tone. Why? I asked. Someone's coming. Hmm? Turn off the weed and hide it. What the fuck is he talking about? I didn't understand. Who I don't understand coming? either. Why was Edelad so afraid? But before I could say anything else, I heard running. Running that seemed to get closer. And closer. How does he know? Wait. So I stopped that at the wrong time. How did he hear someone running in her world? How did he hear it before she did? And who is this person that he's so scared of? This is this is blowing my mind. Edelad panicked as I ran to turn off the Wii. As my finger I still don't know how he knows her name. She I didn't tell him that. I heard my window open. I looked at my Is that Will? And I saw Will. Ah, oh, this bitch, that's why. Hey psychopath. Having fun with your little me? Will Actually, yeah. You wanna talk to him? What the hell was he doing here? Did he follow How the me fuck home? you get in my house? Why was he here? How did you get in through the window? They should be locked. I looked over at the TV screen with the Wii still on. I thought you turned Edelard it off. Will came in and grabbed the Wii. Did she not turn it off? Let's see what the little guy's name is. Oh boy. Will said as he pointed the Wii remote to Edelard and clicked on him. The speech bubble containing Edelard's name. He don't. He don't. Over his head. He's scared of you so, for some reason. Why are you scared of this bitch? That's backwards for delete. Will said. Oh, I'm glad you're so Is smart. It? I asked. Yes, yeah, stupid. You really didn't notice that. I'm glad wow. you're so smart. Now take the fuck you're out my house. Than I thought. Will angrily said. But because his name is backwards for delete, let's delete him. No. Joyfully announced. No. No. <laughs> Why are you letting this happen? Why is he? Okay. I'm about to, to say. Never mind. Out of his hands. But he but already has it at that point. Me, and he was slowly able to get into the delete icon. Oh boy. The text box then appeared to ask him if he wanted to delete the meme. Oh boy, this is not Will good. started to inch his way to the yes He probably knew this, this was well, going to happen. That's why he told you to turn off the no damn button. Wii, Sam. How did Will you not do it? to get to the yes button and he pressed A. And then... Oh, Adelaide. The me deletion This has turned like. from scary to sad. Will had a smirk on his face while I was making a... Well, that means you should come after Will, not anybody else Adelaide then, Adelaide. Adelaide sent to that place that he told me about. I mean, we know he can get out of it, though. I laid on my bed but still, that is sad. See you later, Sam the Psychopath. Didn't you just leave after that? He Bro, he would have definitely got... He de definitely got fucked up then, for doing that. We heard a voice. I mean, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. Yes, you did. The voice sounded like Edeled. So I sprang out of my bed to find him back in the meat channel. And this time... <sighs> Uh oh. He was standing next to another me. Good. Which looked this exactly doesn't scare me like because Will. he deserves this. Will Kyle didn't exactly deserve it like that. But he deserves this it. This is you. Right, Will? Will was in a state of shock. He didn't even have this a Wii, does he? looked worried. As if something terrible was about to happen. Yeah, you, we, we already know what's about to happen. Walked to the back of my room. Why are you so frightened, Will? Are you scared? I would Just be. Like you're me. Mm hmm. Will didn't answer. Mm. Well, one thing's for sure. He's about to on yourself, Will. I'll be right back. <laughs> he's about to get that. He's about to get that, uh, pickaxe. A few seconds later, he came back with the yep. axe. Yep. I knew it. He kicked Will's knee over and put his foot on him. Edelard, stop! What are you doing? He's showing you what happens when you delete axe. him. Shut up! I've caught someone not to delete me this way before, and I'm not afraid to do it again! Will just this ain't your fault, Sam, so I don't even, I don't even blame you. Like, speak or do anything because of the fear. That's what you get, Will. I ran Will. to turn off the Wii, nope, but I too tripped late. on my bed leg, and I fell to the ground. Doesn't even matter anyway. I looked up at the TV. I want the appear being deleted. I know it's time for you and me to suffer! Say goodbye, you heartless- I turned off the TV before Edelard could finish his sentence. He's probably still gonna finish no matter what. To Will. You need to leave. This is your I fault, Will. Quietly. Again, I already didn't like you, Will but now I really, really hate you. Out. He ran off. I closed my, my window and sat on my bed. I stared at the Wii for minutes non-end with questions filling my mind. Bro. 
Why did this happen? Why did Evelyn do this? Because he got deleted. What is the result going to be? Don't you understand? What is the resolution intended to be? So he can show but you how hurtful it looks. My mind the most. Why did I get this view? First of all, hold on. The fact that it turned colorful. Uh-uh. Alright. Sam Story 2. We're going to have to save that for next time. Because let's see. I've already been recording for... Let me see. Yeah, 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. No, we're not We're not doing... Okay. It went to an ad. But, yo. At least now we have a little more backstory on Edelid. A.K.A. Henry, I guess. Because mm -hmm. since he made him... I still don't know where he got that voice from because that wasn't Henry's voice. And now that really, I paused that. And Sam, she she was actually nice. Like I guess Kyle at some point that we didn't see, he said he he gave it to the thrift shop, right? Okay, so she got it, and he was not. She was nice to him. He was thinking she was going to delete him, but she didn't, which is good. But then here comes Bully Will. And it's like, why do that? This this is not even your property. Why are you trying to delete him when it's not even your thing to touch? You shouldn't even be in my house. Like, why are the windows unlocked anyway? That's all these questions I got. But and then we saw what he what he was about to do, what he did to Kyle already. But again, this is not Sam's fault. But at least we have more knowledge on this. I feel like, because like I said in the mod, Kyle and Sam were in the same place, like in the same room. So eventually they're gonna meet up. They're gonna they're gonna get to know each other. But we'll have to wait for that, whenever it shows up for probably for next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.